You know, you would not know exactly what you want to do in a job. Even after an MBA, you wouldn't know exactly what you want to do. If I asked you two more questions, you would not know what you want to do. You would just know how much you want to do in life. That's what you are at. So you, you just keep carving because, you, you know, you can't go back, right? You can't go back. So you keep carving as you go along. So finance was never my, my goal even, uh, but I end up doing, you know, what my goals aren't so quite often. So even right now, I'm the CFO of my company. So, <laughs> so <laughs> uh, I never wanted to be doing anything to do with HR, but I run an HR company. So that happens. That's, that's how it is. <laughs> back then also I had some gray hair. Uh, so people felt must be 32, 33, uh, you know, so we got some uh, business and we were always good with interacting with people and uh, business started flowing in. There was no business plan, no Excel sheet, no Word document, no uh, investor. Uh, we had a shutter office in the other station where uh, the water was going to rain. We just started out. जब जॉब और करियर बस चलता है, then this is how the entire day looks like. करियर को बस चलाओ नहीं भगाओ भी. Log on to altuni.in. Earn more at your current job or get a new one that does. Learn from experts, work on life industry projects and get high paying job opportunities. Find the link in description. So when I started doing my MBA uh, preparation and uh, you know I was stopping my pre-cats and I was like on my high, I have a great CV, I've been a college you know leader and I am going to go to the clear hai. it's like that's where I'm going to be. My brother made me fill the NMIMS form because it is so close to home and he said dude it's a good college, Kya hai? You know, just fill it up. I said no it's a good college but I like Honda City, I like Ferrari. Pasand hai. Honda City is a good car, there is no problem. If you get a Ferrari, it's very big, so I'm going to take a Ferrari. I have luck would have it, uh, I only got an admission call from NMIMS. <laughs> Did you prepare for placements when you were at NMIMS or was that also like, if the company is not going to be able to take it? So I just believe that uh, I want to be in a company that would value something beyond academics. In fact, I remember one particular uh, campus uh, process I was part of. I don't know if I can name companies, but this would, I guess I'm too small for them to file a case, so I can. So it was <laughs> Mahindra and Mahindra. And I was very keen to be part of that company. And I was like, I, I, I have to make it through. And uh, you know, I want to be seeing how a large company operates. And I think about 110 of us applied. I went through one round, second round, third round, made it to the last seven. So I had a good interview. At the end, they said anything you want to say or something like that they said. And I, I, or I don't know what happened to me. I said, I want to thank you know the fact that you guys all gave me the opportunity. I'm really excited because uh, I'm like in the last five of my batch in terms of my academics. And uh, I really want to be with a company you know, who doesn't care for academics and, <laughs> <laughs> and you know, really uh, values the, the person inside. And I went on like two, three minutes like this. And then I came out and then one of the guys who was on the interview panel was the young guy, I guess he would have been just recently, would have uh, uh, joined them. He came out and said, give me a call sometime later. So I got excited, I had a phone call for me, so I excitedly, two, three days later, called him back. He said, when you sit in front of people who spend all their life trying to come first, you can't tell them that academics <laughs> means nothing. <laughs> And I, I didn't get the job, so. <laughs> but I can also tell you, I, I got six job offers on campus, which was the highest b back then. I also had a difficult time because just two, three days before my placement week began, uh, I lost my uh, very close cousin, uh, my brother. He was 14 years old and I had to rush to Punjab. Uh, I, I was in no zone to give my interviews. And I think maybe that helped me because I just, you know, just operated from a space so whatever happens uh, will happen. And some of my very good friends back then helped me get through with interviews. They called me back, they just come and then you go back again so you know you'll find people find companies and even more so now that really will value your personality and you know and what sort of works for you and you'll find such companies uh, in today's time even more I mean back then I guess it wasn't so easy uh, to do it today you'll find a lot more people being open to different personality types uh, joining was finance an area of focus or you essentially were Okay, whichever is a good company, I'll just join. So interestingly, I end up doing things and I don't, I don't plan to. So I never uh, wanted to be working in a financial services role or in a bank. But I thought I should do finance because I thought I'm weak in finance. 
कि शायद मैं सेल्स मार्केटिंग तो कर ही लूँगा क्योंकि कॉलेज फेस्टिवल में थे तो यू नो वी वेंट टू सो मेनी कॉलेज एंड गॉड पीपल टू पार्टिसिपेट एज सेल्स मार्केटिंग आई एल मैनेज फाइनेंस मे बी इट्स मोर टेक्निकल आई शुड डू दैट फर्स्ट सो दैट्स सो आई आई गॉर इन टू डू माई एम बी ए आई डिड माई सी एफ एज वेल एंड एंड आई नेवर वॉन्ट ज्वाइन अ बैंक आई 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 एम लाइक बैंक बनाता क्या है मुझे कुछ बनाता ही नहीं है यार क्या इज नो फन इन दिस बट आई एंडेड अप ज्वाइनिंग अ बैंक बिकॉज लाइक आई सेट माई सिटुएशन वट एवर हैपन इन दैट सिटुएशन आई गॉट अ अपॉर्चुनिटी इन इट यू नो द जॉब दैट केम आई टुक अप तो फाइनेंस वॉज नेवर माई माई गोल इवन बट आई एंड अप डूइंग यू नो वॉट माई गोल्स आंट सो क्वाइट ऑफन सो इवन राइट नो आई एम द सी एफ of my company so <laughs> so uh, i never wanted to be doing anything to do with hr but i run an hr company so that happens that's that's how it is <laughs> all good up till now uh, why did you leave it if you you you, you said you 18 months you enjoyed or you learned a lot in your banking job so why did you leave it and you immediately started up i mean we are talking about a time when startups was not a thing and you started this company in what 2006 Yeah, 2006. Yes. So it's an underwhelming exp- uh, explanation to begin with because I just uh, wanted to start because मुझे किससे छुट्टी नहीं मांगनी थी. You know, so when I was in my job, I I was I suddenly found, like I said, uh, you know, I, I I was kind of just one of the guys in the company, and you know, for everything you 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 were part of a company that controlled certain things. So you so had a problem with authority. I had a problem, kind of problem with authority back then because uh, I guess I was compensating for like my sco- my school life. school life. So I guess I kept compensating uh, for that. You know, at least back then entrepreneurship was there, but you know, today it's very different. Today it's about startup funding. Uh, newspaper articles unicorns tech businesses uh, but to the best of my memory back then it was just about starting your own thing you know it it, it i didn't care even if it was a coffee shop or it was a nice uh, new library format i mean something like that as well i was just happy to start something and you won't you won't believe the number of people that are so successful you don't know about them that just run everyday businesses and they may not Absolutely. be Absolutely they, they, they are all profitable businesses who are Providing employment, actually yeah. delivering value to their consumers, customers. And But paper में नहीं आता है तो लोगों को पता नहीं होता. It doesn't have to be the newest idea that nobody's ever heard of, and it's something wacky. Which look, those kind of things will happen by chance. I don't think you can really plan to do that. I will do something which will just turn the world around. Uh, maybe, maybe one of those people. You are, you are, you are, maybe, but most people aren't that, and it's not going to be for that. But everyday opportunities are just all around, which can lead to make decent businesses. The number of H and I's, they're not all unicorn holders, they're not like startup holders. It's a pretty normal business to chalane wale. So I, I, that's how I started. I just wanted to start. I wanted some independence in the. Uh, I mean, funnily, I, uh, you know, when the company that we formed, eventually we ran it very much like a corporate. So I also had to apply for leave in my own company. So how did you come to the idea? Ki- I, I mean, didn't come to the idea. Again, came my way. Saket, uh, who's one of the founders, uh, he started out. Uh, his also is an interesting story on how he started the business. But he's a chartered accountant, and we got introduced. And uh, I was leaving BNP to join a consulting company, but because I was like, "Ah, consulting is the place to be." Uh, and I was in between jobs, and when he and uh, me met, and he said he's. In fact, that time I wasn't even going to do recruitment. I was going to do some some online some blog thing. That back then blogging was a big thing. And I said, "Thik hai, thik hai. You know, I'll start." and uh, he said i can't pay much right now we don't have so much money but yeah we'll we can begin i said no worries let's start off and within one month we'll drop the idea of the blog and he was doing recruitment so he said okay i also started doing recruitments um and recruitment such a simple business right i mean anybody can start it i mean so many people have left our company and started on their own it's it's not so difficult to start that business the challenge is to grow that business but what i mean by starting on your own if you wish to start it it's lot of lots of such businesses that are there which you can just start off and you can keep shifting gears from there as well if you want to be doing something something of your own and recruitments happened and you know it worked out because back then financial services were growing we came from financial services background you know had a did an mba cfa so back then also had some gray hair uh, so people felt must be 32 33 uh, you know so we got some uh, business and we were always good with interacting with people and uh, business started flowing in and that's just how it happened really uh, but like i said its opportunity came uh, saket happened to meet me i was willing to do it and i tried it and there was no business plan koi excel sheet nahi koi word document nahi uh, koi investor nahi 
uh, we had a shutter office in the other station jahan pani bhar jata tha barsat ke time pe you just started out just for the context for everybody here like how big is the business now whatever matrix you can reveal uh, and whatever it defines because you've been bootstrapped i guess as a company you all have never taken external funding no, we've never taken external stuff. funding where where about 100 and 105 105 or 510 people, I think now, uh, which is large for a recruitment company, especially a domestic company. I think there are there is only there are only one or two other companies uh, which are probably larger than us uh, in the space that we operate in. Did you at any point of time feel like quitting this because you've been at it like for 16 years in this journey of entrepreneurship? Have you felt like quitting or have you felt oh, like yeah, I yeah. can do something else? Absolutely. और बड़ा कर सकता था वी ट्राइड आर हैंड्स इन इन मेनी एरिया सो वी ट्राइड अ बंच ऑफ थिंग्स सो द फोर पार्टनर्स दैट दैट केम टुगेदर टू स्टार्ट ऑफ वी इन्वेस्टेड इन इन अ स्मॉल टेक कंपनी वी गॉर इन टू अ फूड बिजनेस सो एंड अगेन विद द डिसीजन हु विल मूव आउट टू रन दोज बिजनेस टू लीव आई वॉज हैप्पी टू डू इट आई एम ऑलवेज हैप्पी टू ट्राई न्यू थिंग्स दे वर हैप्पी फॉर मी टू गो सो इट वर्क आउट सो आई ट्राइड अ टेक बिजनेस वे बैक इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्थ थर्टीन बट वी ट्राइड बंच ऑफ इनफैक्ट ट्राइड इवन a research based uh, product uh, for the asia market where to do with talent uh, which would be a subscription based model you know the tabhi nay nay the whole process of subscription based so starting off around 2014 15 so we tried that as well we invested a lot of money we had a, a, a you know partner in hong kong who participated we built a team here uh, we tried all of those things three four businesses uh, but didn't work out and that's that's part of our story uh, but when i came back in the business uh, when i came back in the business i didn't take a business role because we didn't want to disrupt the current set of people who had grown the business so well uh, so i took a support function role but yeah failures have been there all thoughts of leaving have also been there sometimes when you fight with your partners we've had intense fights that was actually my next question that intense you fights. you guys have been together for 16 years and yeah. uh, what i also find interesting is that the ceo of the company is not the founding member the thing with founding founder the whole word is also very very heavy in everybody's mind right founding kya hota hai i can say yes two years we did before ruben came in but you know do deewar khadi karke rakhi thi uska matlab ye nahi hai ki kuch so you know you also had a context of uh, who is the founder and who is not a founder and what that word means sometimes you know we just like to give too much of weightage to that so i remember when ruben joined and i mean as basic as that because i was uh, this whole element of you know i do my things my way uh, uh, you know stays with me often uh and ruben came and said we need to have targets you know we'll have targets for every every person you know to do this much every i said kyun target kya karna hai we've been running this business for two years i never had a target like i don't want to go back to my corporate job like i don't want a target and he said why i said i'll do whatever i'll do the best i can how does the target matter to me so you know something as basic as that you know your partners and you can have such intense conversations and get upset with each other before i I let the audience ask you a few questions any uh, suggestions for um, you know people who are just starting out in their career now and who who plan to be working professionals uh, and then after that any suggestions for entrepreneurs uh, based on your experience so for for people who are starting in the, you know in college and all of that my my advice is same that uh, keep yourself available for everything that's happened with me has has had has chances had a play a role to play in it and uh, and i think everybody has that that coming their way uh, which shapes their you know uh, career direction and and all of that so uh, we invested you know we say you know, in our in our companies and jobs we say uh, you have to be uh, uh, very action oriented live your life in action if you are not going to do live your life you know you're too much on your screens you're going through tutorials like i said you're not living your life in action uh the more you live in action the more stories you have like we failed in, in like four businesses it just was a very very difficult time uh, for for me to be a part of uh doing something outside and failing but uh, at least i lived in action and that's what's important awesome please introduce yourself uh, you know before you ask your question hi my name is anush i stay here in mumbai itself and i'm doing my mba right now so where are you doing your mba i am koi kod okay So my question is first of all thank you so much for sharing your experiences my question is that if you were uh, so keen on joining an IIM what stopped like what stopped you if you did not get an admission for trying it for the next year yeah why didn't you wait i guess uh, you know we all have our uh, set of pressures which we've created in our mind so i think back then 
two, it was 2002, 2003, there weren't, there weren't too many job opportunities for graduates uh, back then. You typically get like a bank job for to do some operations work or you could probably get into a sales job where you get, you know, door to door selling something. None of the stuff excited me and, uh, you know, I just felt that if I waited another year, uh, it, you know, it, it's not going to be worth my while. Would I change that decision in today's time? Absolutely. I would even probably say, Back then maybe I was, even though I had the arrogance, but not so much to think of the fact that I could leave my B-school as well. Uh, back then it didn't strike me I could do that, you know, I just thought that it's like but in that space I was doing my thing. Uh, so I just felt I'd rather just get in and NMMS was not a bad school. It's, 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 it had a great reputation. I've had I've had the benefit of the fact that today I'm here because I'm an MA, right? I mean, I, of course he invites others as well, I'm sure. But uh, by and large, a lot of stuff that opened for me, even in my business, I said I'm an MBA, I'm a CFA. You know, so that opened some uh, things in people's minds. I mean, so, sure, clients would take you seriously. Yeah, so it wasn't it wasn't a bad school or anything, right? It's a fantastic. I've I've, I've had some wonderful experiences. When I think about now, back then, yes, I was, like I said, an angry young man. But uh, when I think back, there's a lot that, uh, you know, has contributed to it. And tab socha tha kya karunga ek saal. And what if it again happens? You know, because it was chance that caused it. It wasn't that I failed my exam because I didn't, and I looked at my questions, I didn't know the answers. I just was at 104 fever. I just couldn't do it. Uh, and, and what happens again, you know, there's some, some emergency in the family, uh, something happens and, I, and the whole year goes by and I had not taken up a job. Uh, I think I feared that uh, and, I, and I took it up. Um, yeah. Also continuing to it, do you feel uh, like 18, 20 years down the line, do you feel that if you were, uh, if, you have, would have, if you would have done your MBA from an IM, you would have been a different person or you would have a different life right now? Yes, like, it would be different. I don't know better or worse. <laughs> it would be different for sure, uh, but you know, like you carve as you go along. Uh, it's it's not, not you can't think and plan. Uh, yes, as as a, as a young guy, you're thinking broad themes. You know, maybe like me, I want to buy a Ferrari or something. You know, you you think something big. I want to travel business class. Uh, be it covered in the newspaper, merger acquisition deal. Uh, you know, my family proud of me. Whatever. So you have those broad thoughts. Uh, but uh, in fact, you know, you would not know exactly what you want to do in a job. Even after an MBA, you wouldn't know exactly what you want to do. If I asked you two more questions, you would not know what you want to do. You would just know how much to do in life. That's what you are at. So you, you just keep carving because, you, you know, you can't go back, right? So you keep carving as you go along. And maybe if I was did my MBA from an IM or I got a McKinsey BC job, so I was running around but I love my life today. I, I, I have the time that I, I always value my time. I'm an entrepreneur. Uh, I, I get up in the morning at the time that I want and I mean, not so much uh, exactly like I said, we still run the company a lot more professionally. But there is fair amount of freedom in what I do and, uh, and, and I think I would have lost out on that if I was probably in a certain career. But it would be good. So I'm not trying to say that it would not there is those, both in a multiple universes, parallel universes <laughs> operate, right? Aapko jo mila hai, us pe chalte rao bhi kya karein? Baaki to kahaniya hai. One more question we have time for. By the way, he's come all the way from Ahmedabad just for just for me? to you. Okay. <laughs> <So nice. laughs> Hi sir, so my name is Paritosh and I'm working as an operations so manager. What's your name? Paritosh. Paritosh. Okay. I'm working as an operations manager in a room. A, it's a small startup in location tracking mobility. So like, I have worked with, a, my, with my team a lot in hiring new talents for my team, you know, the recruitment and onboarding process. And the last two, three years, there has been a lot of shift, you know, the great resignation is happening. You know, people are switching jobs constantly, looking for something better, striving to get into some better place. So what do you think, especially these smaller startups, you know, they should do to make sure that they are attracting good talents and are able to retain them and keep them? Since you are in recruitment, you must have some yeah. insights in that. But I can tell you that's happening with everybody. It's not yeah. with small startups. Um, our own company, uh, I was in fact, we had an offset just a week ago and is making fun of uh, the situation that more than half the company's company was new. Like they were coming for the first time for the offset because we lost so many people in the last two years. And that's with every company, almost every company, the biggest of names have gone through that. And let's, this is not a platform to discuss why that happened. That's a separate story. Uh, but you know, uh, there's a very interesting movie, I, got, I had seen it and I got reminded of by a friend recently uh, called Moneyball. It, it talks about how you can pick talent 
that doesn't appear externally to people as great talent. And we actually did that. Uh, uh, the person who I, uh, who, uh, my colleague, she heads our HR in the company and uh, I'm very dependent on her uh, in, in carrying out a lot of our activities, especially in my area of work. Uh, she did her MBA from RISV. You didn't, wouldn't think of it being, you know, uh, such a high-end college, right? She's a, a pillar for our organization right now. And when, when we hired her, we hired her as an analyst. Right, just right from campus, it's been 12 years, and we hired such people. There's a couple of other people as well, like that, uh, you know, who've been who've been with us since 2009-10. You have to try and find people where nobody is looking for. You can't go to an IM and hire. Like you can't. Even today, I can't. As in the, after 15 years of our company, I can't go to an IM and hire from there for our own company. So you have to try and think through that. You have to be open to such people and be willing to just like you want others to invest in you, and you have to do that with others as well, and then find that okay you have something in it that that works for you as an individual and you get those people on board you'll be amazed that you can get talent today even at much lesser uh, salary levels that you would normally expect at the average because you're finding those people and you're willing to take them on uh, and, uh, and you work with them that's how and those people then become big for your company right and we've had some fantastic colleagues over the years who didn't come with great backgrounds uh, that's how you build your company. You can't with reality here. But sir, the companies are still struggling to retain the candidates, right? Like you hire a lot of people. Okay, yeah, so you your question is more re retention. No, uh, in, huh. bo in both aspects, in terms of attracting good talents as well and retaining them. It's a tough one because reality is it's not like we have retained people really well. I'm mean, being transparent. We've lost people last two years as well. But I also feel that that's the nature of, the, uh, of what the current uh, culture is like. People are don't don't want to be tied up. They want to try. And I'm in fact telling you guys, right? Try things. Uh, then how can I say that you know stick in one uh, on the other counter side, right? So people want to try. You have to be more prepared for the fact that this is a change environment. That you will have attrition. I think it's a better thing to do to be more prepared. You of course will do the usual stuff. You know, you will do uh, investing in training. You will connect with your people. I, I'm not trying to belittle that. Okay, don't care for your people. That's not where I'm getting. You will do all of that. Has now become a given that you have to care for your people, you have to uh, build a place where people can talk to you, can, can find uh, meaningful work. Uh, wo typical, uh, you know, uh, LinkedIn pe wo aate na, one liners, uh, achhe achhe. Wo sare, we call them truism. No, sab sach hai. Unko, you can't deny them. They are kal bhi sach te, aaj bhi sach hai, parso bhi sach honge. Wo to given hai. But, uh, you know, the real, when you live that, you can't live with those sentences. It's the action and what you're doing. What is the action? You have to accept that you will have people who move out, right? And then you also, in fact, I tell, uh, you know, uh, I tell my own team members, if you're going for an interview, please go, mujhe batana kya bol rahe So if I know what they are going to meet and, and talk about, I can tell them, look, I, I can't offer this to you. I've had two colleagues uh, in my team who've moved out in the last six months to a year. Uh, when they came back, and one of them, in fact, called and said, cover before I put in a paper, that I've worked with you for five years. I want to ask, I want to tell you what I'm thinking. And I asked her, I said, ye hai, ye hai, ye hai. I said, go, you can't help it because they have an interesting opportunity. You can't hold them back because opportunities, ki information available is available to you. Pehle shayad itni available nahi thi. Aaj available hai. If you can't provide something better, you, you, the person anyway going to leave, I might as well let that person go and start investing in the next person who's there. So you have to provide all of that so people stay, but also be prepared that they may not stay. And they will most likely not stay because they are also in a time where people want to experience things. Thank you so much for opening up and uh, doing this. A big round of applause, guys, Thank you. for Pleasure. our. You must be thinking another pre roll. Wait, let me just skip it. With all theory, there are some boring things which you can avoid, like the long wait for promotions or increments or the numerous interviews before you land your dream job. At all theory, we make sure that you're future ready and skilled to be in the top 0.5% class. Click on the link in the description now.